Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. I am Dr. Sona Ahuja, Associate Professor. We will learn about characteristics of assessment in learning centered approach. We will try to address these questions. What is learning centered approach? What are the underlying principles of learning centered assessment? What are the characteristics of learning centered assessment? So let's start with the first question. What is learning centered approach? In learning centered approach, teacher uses information about each student to plan meaningful lessons and set goals and objectives. That is what is the level of the learner? What are the potentials of the learners? With what previous knowledge learners are coming? These are the basis of the planning of the lesson plans of the teacher for the classroom. And based on the previous knowledge of the learner that is from known to unknown, using this knowledge, teacher determines the objectives for the learner. In learning centered classroom, focus is on short term goals rather than overarching and end of unit assessments to monitor student progress. That is, student teacher designs specific learning objectives that determine the learning outcomes of the student instead of stating what student will be able to do at the end of the unit. Each unit is broken into small topics and each topic has number of objectives which teacher states and determines to achieve in one class. So in learning centered classroom the teacher makes a systematic plan of predefined learning objectives which she intends to achieve through a class and she uses authentic learning experiences to make learning interactive and engaging. In order to understand this point, let's take an example. Teacher has to teach that the sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. So rather than stating directly this statement, teacher can give them different quadrilaterals and make them measure their angles and find out the sum. When students do it for three to four quadrilaterals, they can generalize what is the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral. Thus, this learning experiences makes them interact with the available resources and engage actively in the learning process. And this is what is the learning centered classroom. Here, the learning environment is calm, open, welcoming, encouraging the student to take chances and participate actively in learning. Even if the student is making mistakes, teacher does not demotivate him to participate in the classroom activities. Rather, his errors are taken as steps to learning. Thus, the environment is encouraging. Teacher motivates them to learn. So the center is the student, its student's behaviors, his potential, his activities that lead to the learning. And teacher's lesson plans are also flexible, though he predetermines that what he would cover in the classroom for one period, for two periods, but he easily adjusts it according to the needs of the students. Suppose the pace of the student is different than what teacher had planned. Teacher had planned say four objectives, but the pace is slow. So teacher can just teach three objectives. And if teacher has planned just four objectives and the pace is fast, she should be prepared for the fifth objective also. Also, while preparing the developmentary questions or the introductory questions and the evaluatory questions, she can adjust the difficulty level of the questions depending upon the potentialities of the students. Thus, Teacher has to make flexible lesson plans and has to be democratic while addressing the student's needs and this, this makes the learner the classroom learning centered classroom. We have to acknowledge students capacities in learning centered classrooms that is we should reinforce whatever they know. It is suggested that we should use positive reinforcers to motivate the student. As soon as they respond to the teacher's questions, they should get the feedback and this feedback should be motivating to them. In, even if the student is not able to give the correct answer, 
teachers should use the probing skills and tell him in a positive way what is the right direction to move. This is acknowledging students' capacities. Teacher helps students understand their needs rather than just grade them. So rather than just giving them a score for their performance, teacher helps them understand what they need to do more to improve their performance or strengthens their performance by giving them the knowledge about their performance. And the learning centered classroom covers full range of learning experiences, right from observing, talking to each other, discussing about it, putting the questions, initiating the ideas or the questions, performing the activities. So all domains are covered. Domains related to different learning experiences are covered in a learning centered classroom. Now let's see, what are the underlying principles of learning centered assessment? Once we know what this term learning centered means, now we should try to understand how we should assess learners in this kind of environment and what are the principles based on which this kind of assessment takes place. So the basic principle states that we assume that learner constructs his or her knowledge. So there is paradigm shift from teaching to learning that is student learns rather than teacher teaches. So it is more of student centered learning. And the next assumption is learning takes place in natural and contextual selection. That is not only the theory, but whatever concept of mathematics they are learning, they should know its application in the real life. It should be contextual. Then learning takes place totally at the learner's pace. If teacher has designed instructional strategies to cover particular amount of content in a classroom, then it is not what teacher decides, but it is what is the learner's pace. If he is not able to cover or learn as much teacher has decided for a class, then teacher can just not speed up, but has to follow the learner's pace. Now let's see, what are the characteristics of learning centered assessment? So once we know what is learning centered classroom, on what principles this learning centered assessment is based, now let's try to understand what are the specialities, what are the characteristics of a learning center assessment which makes it different from the traditional assessment. First and the foremost, your role of the teacher is that of facilitator and not a dictator. Teacher just facilitates the learning. Teacher provides all types of learning resources to the students, engages him through his different learning experiences, uses different teaching learning materials, to give him different learning experiences and thus facilitates the learning rather than dictating the learning. And mostly the methods in this kind of setup are activity based. Thus in learning centered approach it is assumed that learning takes place when the learner is actively engaged in the process. Learner also learns at his own pace as we just discussed and the learning is flexible and democratic. It is totally based on the needs of the learners, his potentialities and his abilities. And teacher adjusts his teaching based on the learner's characteristics and his grades and levels of learning. And so the emphasis is on the process of learning rather than what is to be only learned. So teacher does not only focuses that I have to teach this content in the, process, in the class, but has also to see that what will be the process to teach or to make student learn that content. What strategies, what will be the techniques and approaches teacher would use depending on the content and the potentialities of the learner that also teacher determines. So this is what are the characteristics of learning centered classroom and the assessment. Now objective of such an assessment is to assess process and techniques of learning. What kind of processes or what kind of strategies will foster the learning and what kind of strategies will hamper the process of learning? This feedback should be given by the assessment. So the focus of the assessment is the feedback on the entire process of learning 
and the instruction strategies. Then next question comes, when to assess the learner? When we should assess? In the traditional classroom, the assessment of the learner is periodic. That is, either we assess at the end of the course or perhaps at the end of the unit. What do you think? In learning-centered approach, assessment, when does it take place? Let's see. It takes place every moment. So while learner is engaged in learning process, at that every moment, that is, learner is engaged throughout the learning process, throughout the class, throughout the unit, for each topic assessment takes place. So every moment teacher is assessing the learner and shaping or molding the lesson plan according to his performance and not only at the end of the unit of the content. What is the context? For example, I have to assess whether student has learned to multiply two digit number to another two digit number. Then what is my context? Does I just want him to understand the symbols and multiply the symbols or is it more than that? So students, in case of learning centered classroom, the context is the real world situation. So what if he learns to count? So what if he learns the fractions, the concept of fractions? What will it help him? How will it help him? So in the real world situation where this knowledge is useful to him, that should be assessed in case of learning centered assessment. And what kind of situations? That is, we should give problems which give the real life situation. So while solving a real life problem, is he able to apply the learned mathematical concepts or not? This determines his learning ability. And this is the focus of the assessment of learning centered classroom. So now, when we have covered what is learning centered assessment, you may please try to answer these questions. How learning centered assessment differs from traditional assessment? What are the characteristics of traditional assessment which has limitations and what are the limitations which we try to overcome to move from traditional assessment to learning centered assessment? Try to answer these questions. Then try to explain with example, how will you employ learning centered assessment? You can give situations wherein learner is the center of the entire teaching learning process and how assessment benefits the learner in this kind of environment by giving different examples. Thank you.